Hi guys, Rich King Retro here. Um, yeah, back with um, car, no, basically a car boots pickup. Um, yeah, so it must be the last couple of days I've uploaded my out and about of car boots. So this is some of the stuff I got. Also, my battery ran out as always because um, you're literally filming for hours and hours. And yeah, I've got I've got a big SD card actually in my GoPro, so it records for long. But I just always keep on forgetting to um, basically yeah, I got I left the battery in the car. And wasn't when I was at Exeter Car Boot, I thought, do I go back to car? It's like a 10 minute walk there, and sort of like a 10 minute walk back, and I thought, didn't want to miss, didn't want to miss anything. Um, yeah, so I've gone up on Sunday morning as always. Um, actually planned um, to actually go, I was hoping it was going to be the weather, the weather on like the, um, is it the Met Office? Oh yeah, on the Met Office app on the iPhone, said it was going to be really cloudy, not the best weather. But yeah, but as always, Saturday night, um, I go normally buy like a little Sprite and a little sandwich, obviously for the next day. And I always take back, or take out £50 cash back. And I always go to certain tills, I always know, always got pound coins. So I normally get pound coins from them and £5 notes. And or I take like £50 out um, of the cash machine as well. So I normally just go to the local um, spa where they've got a little post office. And if the post office is open any time of day, you can go in there and just get changed just like that. So I plan to go out. So... Um, my plan was actually to go to Stonehouse Carbo. Um, that normally starts about half six. I got up quite late. I actually got up at six o'clock, and I thought I'd just drive up there. And yeah, and as I was like driving towards to go to Stonehouse, um, you actually drive past Plymouth Argyle Stadium, and there was loads of cars queued up, and I saw they were already setting up outside. Um, basically, Plymouth Argyle Carbo um, out back. There's like a massive cage. They normally fill up the cage. Um, if it's if it's like a busy sunny day, um, yeah, or bank holiday weekend, that cage could fill up you know, at eight o'clock, or it could fill up at half nine. It all depends. But normally, once or twice a year, there's normally like a little fair out there, or play for our girl, celebrate, maybe getting promoted, or so there's always something actually going on in the cage, so normally once, actually probably once every two months. So yeah, so all the cars who normally got there early, all the traders and that, we got there early, um, normally being, being in the cage, probably about seven, um, yeah, I've got half six, seven o'clock. Um, yeah, they were just all on the outside. I'm too many it's on the outside. It's just open to Joe Public while in the cage. You can't obviously the, the traders get there about like yeah, like I said, half six. But the car boot doesn't open for like another hour and a half and stuff. So yeah, so I was driving past. I'm like drove in there and walked around. Sometimes obviously the traders are here, there, and everywhere. Also, you have obviously the standard um, Joe people or Joe <laughs> Joe blocks. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to remember what I actually got these in order. Um, yeah, it's going to be pretty hard to remember, actually. But this is what I got, actually, hopefully, from from the car boot. I think so, anyway. <laughs> Literally, I've done this about three or four days later. Oh, oh I just kicked, oh, I kicked a Mario and Pipe over. So this woman has some DS games, and they were two quid. So I've got Sonic Rush, um, Sonic Rush um, Adventure. I thought I had Sonic Rush. But this is Adventure, so I've got Sonic Rush, but not Adventure. Um, clearly one of those like um, copied cards, which was Pokemon Power Virgin. Um, Animal Crossing World. Spider-Man Web of Shadows. And I think these were two quid, but it was actually two quid per box. So some of these games were inside, so it's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. I think I got these for twelve quid in the end. Um, yeah, I was, these games were actually inside, and it's Pokemon Sapphire version, um, looks like one of the copy carts, and Pokemon Leaf Green, another co copy cart. And I've also got a Yu Gi Oh World Championship 2008, that's just the DS game. Spec probes, I don't know, I think that says spec probes. And Brain Challenge. It's always brain fucking challenge in every charity shop, you know? <laughs> okay, I'm just trying to remember where I got, actually got some of this stuff from. Um, yeah, I might just do it all and this is basically saying, well, I'm just, 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 just trying to remember where I actually got some of this stuff from. Okay, actually, I think I got where I was just trying to get something from. I think that was it. Was that it from, um... I'll do these actually. I can't remember. I've, I've uploaded my video and watched it, but I can't remember half the time. Okay, i got Pokemon Battle Revolution. I think these are a couple quid each. Some of these are two quid each. We Mario Kart Wii. I've got a couple of them actually. I didn't realise i got a couple. 
Man on Sonic at the Olympics 2012. Olympic Games. Rayman Rabbits TV Party or TV Party Rayman Rabbits. Um, Buster Groove Ghost. 505 Game Street game. Okay, so PS2 games. I've got Kingdom Hearts. Destroy All Humans. Oh, Pandemic game. Destroy All Humans. Curry Curry Mix. <laughs> It looks like much, I think some of this I actually got from um, the second car boot just outside of Plymouth um, in Plimpton actually. And it was Pokemon the Movie 3. I think I uploaded my video a couple of days ago. I actually watched it, I just I can't remember right now. Pokemon the Movie, Heroes the Movie. Another Pokemon game. And Yu Gi Oh! So happy to get some of them in the collection. Um, I think I'll be able to just trade them on with a couple of friends who love the, love the Pokemon games or Pokemon DVDs and that. Yeah, Plymouth was space of slim pickings, to be honest. Um, Exeter car boot has changed. So you might see some of my videos, and Exeter car boot is now half the size. Um, yeah, before you had like a, you had like a cage area, another, another cage area, and then you had like the cattle market. Now, I think that cage area is now a bus station. So it's gone. So now you've just got the cattle area, which you can hardly fit the many cars in there. Before, traders used to queue in on the left, and pay £10 to go in, and sometimes people who had like um, cars as well, so they could go in and actually set up. And that was about 6 o'clock, I think they went in. And then there was on the other side, which was this normal, um, normal I guess, more, more, more of the public, and that was like 5 or £6, but they came in about 7 o'clock. So sellers used to just be able to just walk in, and you have obviously the traders, maybe some, um, you know, some, some got like public, some, yeah, someone from Joe Public who might have gone in the wrong queue but paid early to get in or just want to get in early and just get it done. So you should do walk around there in the in sort of like the cattle market bit or, or in the cage bit and then obviously the Joe Public the other Joe Public came in. So yeah like cars coming in all the time. But now it's half the size and they're not letting sellers in so until seven o'clock. So the car boot now starts at seven, which is an hour later. It's half the size. It's just one queue, which is absolutely chaos at the moment, and they don't let sellers in. So at the moment, all the traders and all them lot, and obviously the Joe Public, allowed in. I think they obviously, it starts at 7, and now they're allowed all the cars in the normal time at 6 o'clock in the morning, half 6. So they're going in. So now all the traders are actually in there. They can go around and buy stuff, and then, then the rest of us who want to go in, who used to be just walk in, um, aren't allowed in until 7. And it's completely changed. And why that's affected Plymouth is because all the people used to go or, or drive up from Plymouth, and also Cornwall and just in the area, I used to drive to Exeter because Exeter used to be really big, twice the size of Argyle, I would say, Plymouth Argyle. Um, then I'll just go to Plymouth Argyle because there's no point in them driving 45 minutes up there to sit in a to literally sit in a queue till 7 o'clock where all some of the traders and all the other guys are there inside just running around buying stuff. So now they're all going to the Plymouth Argyle car boot and there was probably a good, I would say, five or six more people who I know would normally go to um, Exeter. Um, after the games, the Lego, just all stuff like that, the vinyls. So yeah, it's completely changed. I hate every year it happens. Every year it happens. A car boot either starts later, starts earlier, or they charge for parking, and it just always changes, or it moves er earlier. So you know, years ago I used to go to literally four car boots in a row. One started at half half six. The other one was like eight. The next one was like nine. The next one was like half ten. So you used to be able to do them all in a row, but now three of them start at the same time, and it's just like just messes it all up. Yeah, so it's really slim pickings out there as it is, but now we've got extra competition. Um, yeah, it's really hard, really hard. Um, I also picked up Zombies, a board game which is sealed. I think I picked this up for two quid. Um, I picked this up the Plimpton car boot. And the Plimpton car boot is um, just basically like a little community hall. It's got a bit of like grass, open grass, all the dogs and that. But that starts like, I think it's like half eight, nine o'clock. If they do it any earlier, all the residents are like all complaining with the car boot because they're making too much noise. So the, normally they've got a little, like, little bit of like a barrier and they normally go, go! But they didn't have a barrier this time, so there's some random woman walking in and one minute she said we could go in, so we all started like, charging. And then she's like, no, 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 no. She goes, you can't because you'd be making noise. We're like, you're shouting, you're the one making noise. It's just well funny and she started kicking off. But yeah, quite funny. 
But yeah, that car boot is just like, there's like three or four lines, not even that long, 10 cars that way, like 10 cars that way, 10 cars that way, and 10 cars that way. And it's just literally just pick a lane, quickly look, you've hardly got, you literally got, there's so much gap in between, you're looking from left to right, left to right. And it's really hard to sometimes pick stuff out. And then after five, 10 minutes, it's like really slow because people are there with the dogs, the obese people, the babies, the obese people and the dogs. <laughs> it's literally, and you can't even move. And it's just so hard. But yeah, I was well happy. I picked up Zombies. This is a little quick board game. Um, it's sealed. It was two quid. I think it's worth about 15, 20 quid. So happy. Um, I've actually played a couple of zombie games. So this is the fourth one. I've actually played a couple of zombie games. We've sort of had enough of the zombie games, so this will begin going to UK Games Expo. Probably just put a tenner on it, earn eight quid, just sell it, and that will go towards more board games. Um, I think I might have got that from Exeter. I can't remember. This is so much stuff that I literally can't remember. Oh, yeah, um, Sky, uh, Skylanders. So I was running around the Plymouth car boot, as you do, and there was a woman, she had a table full of Skylanders, and she said £2 each. And I guess in a joke, when I watched back my vid, I'm like, oh, would you take 30 quid for the lot? And she was like, yeah. And I was like, okay. And this was just like, well, worked out on the table. It's probably about 30, 34 pound. And, I thought we'd, and then she's like, oh, you, you can have the bo the other boxes, the ones on the table and the box. <laughs> um, I recently traded in some, I went back, was it eight Skylanders in at um, Insane Games and got about, what was it, 20, 22 quid? And yeah, and she just obviously just put them all. We put them all in the bag, and there was absolutely shitloads. Um, I don't know much about Skyland. If I just know, if I just trade some in, I'll get even if we get a quid each. So I counted them up when I was in the car going to the next car boot. So I paid thirty pound, and there is seventy five of them. <laughs> so no minimum trade in at Insane Games. I'll get seventy five pound trade in, but some of them could be worth three or four quid. So we're happy. There's a few of the same people. I literally, I, I need to find like a list, but some of them look well cool, absolutely well cool. So yeah, absolutely loads of them. <laughs> Ramshot guy, <laughs> there's two of them. Uh, well funny, yeah, so, some of them obviously, they're like, they're like pop body parts, so I have to try and work out whose body goes with who, was that, was that a lucky one, yeah, apparently that was a lucky one, I don't know nothing about these, I just know the kids would go crazy for them, so, I'm going to do a convention soon, so I'll literally just put £4 on each one, if people buy them, they buy them, so I should get my money back at the convention, um, yeah, they could be worth a quid or someone could be worth 10 quid, but I just put £4 in each one. I normally sell them and then the rest I just take to insane games and trade them in. And hopefully get some board games, get some video games up there, because I'll be going up there at the end of May. On the way up to UK Games Expo, um, which is a board game event, which I mentioned before. Um, yeah, so I sort of went a bit crazy with Skylanders, and every time I saw some Skylanders for like a quid, or I was trying to get them um, a bit cheaper than that. Um, I've picked up some more. I've picked up like another 20. And these other 20 cost me around 12 quid. So for like 42, 45 quid I think it was, I've got like 90... <laughs> 90 Skylanders. <laughs> some I don't know what the fuck they are, man. What the fuck they are. Um, there's some blue bottoms, yellow bottoms, green bottoms, I don't know. Orange bottoms. That green, yeah, green, yellow bottoms. But yeah, some look pretty cool. But I come back. They all obviously they go on a little Wii. You put them down, and I guess they fight. Um, where was one of the guys actually picked up? Ah, oh, Bowser. He was there. So yeah, I think I got this unbundle. I think it was actually like um, six of them for no five of them for seven pound. I think in the end, and he was there. But yeah, he says Skylander at the bottom, but then he goes to an amiibo. I guess amiibos are Skylanders. I don't know, I haven't got a clue. I have no interest in those amiibos. Pop heads and amiibos can jog on. Sim seriously, jog on. Yeah, so I happily picked up all those guys. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're good! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking shitloads of them. I've a random hammer. Means nothing. Absolutely means nothing. But anyway, yeah. Um, 
every time I saw a little Mario toy, 50p or a pound, I just picked up these. There is another one on the floor, I think Mario the Pipe. These are the 2014, so these must be the ones that were end of last year or this year. And that's a 2013 McDonald's one, so that's the year before, or two years ago. No, we don't want you hiding in the sky like this one. Also picked up some top drums, um, Star Wars. Um, Clone Wars. Yeah, they look, I don't know why I picked them up, they look apps, top drums. I just don't care, I don't know why I picked them up to be honest. I think they were a quid for free, and it came with some Lego. But I think I sold the Lego, so there was a little bit of Lego and and then when I got it for a quid and then I was at Exeter Car Boot, I ran out of money. I literally ran out of money. I took 50 quid with me and then on the next car boot I had to pop off to the cash machine. I think, yeah, going from um, Plymouth to Exeter and took out another 50 quid. And I spent, yeah, probably a bit too much money. So I got to Exeter, some of this was actually filmed, some of it I didn't film, so I got these two for a fiver. <laughs> um, Pikachu looks a bit weird, so it's so funny you can actually find like a really cool Pikachu, but yeah, but then suddenly you find like a retarded version of Pikachu. So yeah, sort, sort yourself out, Pikachu. Get over here. Um, I think I got this from Extra anyway. So it's Old World's Abe Odyssey um, disc and Medieval Two um, case, platinum. But I've actually got loads of spare cases. I think I've got Abe's Odyssey down there, Abe's Exodus down there. And I've actually got a platinum version of this. So as soon as I saw that, I thought, cool, I've actually just completed a game. Because over the years, you just you have boxes, manuals, just all stuff like that. Uh, okay, there's little sort of like Lego series and sort of like a bit board game-ish. So I picked this up and it's just a random board game where you roll and you try and obviously create your own pop, I guess, of magical stuff. So there's, there's quite a, probably about 10 of these guys, but yeah, I'm trying to slowly pick them up. Um, I've got a Nintendo DS, um, got the charge and everything, got the case, and this was a fiver. Um, like I said, if I just pick them up for a five, I think it came with a game, I'm not sure, maybe not, maybe it didn't come with a game. No, it wasn't any of those games. Yeah, so I'll see it for a fiver, trade it in, um, yeah, get my money back, plus more, and get games I really want. Fucking everyone's destroyed here, there's so much stuff. Okay, I picked up a couple more ball games. Um, this was actually 20p. I did laugh, so I had to get it for 20p, couldn't say no. And it's, um, Hair de Hair de Ring. Okay, basically that's Lord of the Rings. <laughs> hair de Ring, Harry Ring. Um, like I said, I'm going to UK Games Expo, so this will be coming with me. I just put a fiver on it. Um, the UK version sells, or the English version sells for about 10 to 15 quid. Put a fiver on it. And um, there's loads of people around, obviously, the country in Europe going to it. I think it's what the second biggest like a board game event in in sort of like Europe. So hopefully, someone from Germany. I've already just posted on some group, and someone said he's he's interested in it. Yeah, it's it's complete. Um, it's quite funny. A couple of the cards. Um, you have obviously Frodo, and Merry Pippin. But there's also some random guy in the English version. He's called Fatty. <laughs> he's just called Fatty. <laughs> That's his name. But apparently, he's actually. Um, Fatty, I don't know. Some he's actually in in Lord of the Rings the films. Apparently, we yeah, brought up a little photo of him, just a random guy, and he's actually in the books. But yeah, he's just one of one of the um, one of the hobbits. But in this one, he's called Dick. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know why he's fatty in the English version, but this one just says Dick. <laughs> so he's got a hairy ring, and obviously, <laughs> so Dick has to go find the hairy ring. <laughs> mess up, mate. Mess up. <laughs> but well, funny. That was quite funny when I saw it. I'm like, why is it called Dick? <laughs> okay. Also got another sort of rarish board game, which I don't have, and it's Escape from Colditz Castle. There's two Colditz, which is this Escape from Colditz, which I've actually got down there, I think, or somewhere around here. So yeah, I picked this one up because I thought, oh, it says Escape from Colditz. Um, yeah, it looks absolutely garbage. 1979 one, but might just go in the collection for about, yeah, for half a year, play it, and then just probably next year just trade it on, or because I'm literally no interest in it. But yeah, the other Escape from Cold it's is brilliant, brilliant game, so definitely need to play that more. 
Um, this guy was selling two PS2s just on the floor. They had no power cables. And sometimes you think, do I buy, do I not buy? And he said he got them out of his, like, Volkswagen, um, what they're called. Um, the base of the big, like, camper vans. So, yeah, he got out of Volkswagen V, I don't know. Not, yeah, just a massive camper van. I forgot what, it's, what, what they're called. Um, so he, he wanted five pounds, he said ten pound like earlier, I heard him, people asking and they said ten pound, so I just walked past and he said five pound. And I'm like, mate, would you take four pound for it? He was like, yeah, four pound. Um, yeah, so I took a gamble. One doesn't work, one works. Two controllers work and it just came with an RF cable. So yeah, so I've got one RF cable. I've got RF cables for fun, so I was able to complete one and have two controllers. And I'm happy with that, so we'll be able to trade that in to game shops. Um, normally some of them match CEX prices, so CEX gives stupid money on trading PS2 games, or, or PS2 consoles. So you go in there, trade them in, um, yeah, and obviously take games that I want. Um, what else was that? Oh, I'm going to have to get down on my knees because some stuff's falling off. Yeah, in a way slim picking, so if it wasn't for the Skylander fine for 30 quid for like 70, 75 of them, it probably would have been, it would have been, yeah, I'm happy with my pickups actually. Um, that's it, yeah, literally, that's it for my old, uh, my car boot finds. My friend messaged me saying he's just moved house, did I want this lot for free? And I'm like, okay, I don't mind it for free. And it's um, Elder Skulls, Skyrim. Um, yeah, guide. Final Fantasy 13 Guide. Oh, hello. And it's got some art cards in them. Oh, cool. Does mine have art cards in? I don't know. So I'm not sure if I already got this or not. So it might be in the cabinet. Might not be in the cabinet. Elder Scrolls Oblivion. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Couple of games, um, Dragon Quest. Oh, Dragon Quest was so good, honestly, so good. I love that game so much. Um, also, Final Fantasy 12, but there's two discs. One's destroyed or really scratched, while one isn't. So I think the one that's actually in there is a bit scratched, but the one that's out there isn't so scratched. So, so I don't know where we've obviously got another one from. Um, so I can imagine Good Key might want um, Dragon Quest, so you can probably Good Good Key. He's, he's got a YouTube channel, so I need I need, I need, I need to subscribe to him. <laughs> it's like one of my best mates. I need to subscribe to him, but he said he's been posting stuff online. So yeah, it's quite funny. Good old Good Key. He's a good laugh he is. Um, yeah, I hope, I'm, look, I'm liking these art cards actually, or the postcards. So I'm, I'm not sure if I've actually got them. So yeah, cheers. That's a bit of a bonus. Yeah, he's looking at these Skylanders. God. Well, this dude, this dude's fucking cool. There's quite a few of them that are exactly the same, so... The bigger guys look like... The orange ones, so... I think the Skylander Giants, when this little kid was telling me at the convention. Um, yeah, he was schooling me all in them, so... Some of them look really cool, but... Yeah, don't want to collect anymore. Got a bit crazy with them, but hey... Good trade-ins, good trade-ins. So when I tried on the insane games with 70 Skylanders, hopefully they got some um, good stuff from me. Just wait for them. <laughs> they've got any good stuff, really. <laughs> I've taken it all. People obviously know about the good trade-ins, so they've traded so much stuff in. But yeah, happy with my finds. Thanks for liking, thanks for sharing. Thanks for watching my out and about videos. Um, yeah, those Scott, yeah, these postcards. Oh, bonus. Cheers, mate. The black guy with an afro with a fucking bird in his head. <laughs> sort it out. <laughs> sort, it, sort it out. <laughs> anyway, thanks guys. Thanks for watching, liking and sharing. So yeah, so some of the games obviously would go in my collection. Um, quite a lot of it actually is ready, ready for UK Games Expo. To sell it to bring and buy, buy more ball games that I don't have. And to trade-ins on the, on the way up to... Um, yeah, on the way up to um, Insane Games. Also, probably covers my petrol for um, 
for now, of course, you have to go back to Exeter to pick up those games. I was admit, all the discs and the cartridges that I'm missing from the games. Uh, oh, in other news, um, I've sold my two arcades. So hopefully today, tonight, or tomorrow, um, House of the Dead and my Area 51, I've actually sold. And I sold actually at a good price. So um, I purchased them at a quite average price, but I've sold them for more than I paid for them. So happy, and these guys are going to come pick them up. So they're basically too big. So it was a really good idea. Re Really impulse buy, but when you sort of like get in the house, you think that looks pretty stupid, and you think they probably use loads of power. And yeah, so it's easy just to go somewhere and put a quid in and play for like 10 15 minutes rather than have it in your house and play for 10 15 minutes. You know, you spend hundreds of pounds on them, and yeah, and it's using your own power, so it just costs even more money. So much better to get rid of them. So I'm gonna have space for probably gonna buy some more cabinets, glass cabinets actually. So I've got my like my um, Game Boy cabinet. I've got like another Game Boy cabinet and like uh, sort of like like one of these with Mario on one shelf and like one of these with like Sonic on the shelf. <laughs> Little like toys, like figures and stuff. So I think I might separate the um, the Sega and Nintendo one. And yeah, maybe the Game Boy could do with actually probably the Game Boy and the Game Boy 1, a bigger one. So I'm looking for a big glass cabinet where all my Game Boys and my Game Boy games can go in one cabinet and then I can use the two cabinets that they're currently in for my Sega cabinet and my, um, I guess, Nintendo cabinet, my Pokemon figures and stuff like that to show off my collection a bit more. And it'd be, yeah, well, well happy actually, well happy. These art cards are so cool. All postcards are so cool. If I could the scale out, I need to find a list, mate. I need to find a list. So you know, one of these, I don't know, could be rare, or they could just be like all, all ten p each. Though this guy looks cool. Anyway, <laughs> it's the first time I've actually looked at him. I don't know if he even got the Spyro look alike. That must be him. But it could not be him. So they've got numbers on the bottom, but I've typed them in some places. Two thousand and eleven. That must be Spyro. I'm sure that is him. He looks more angry there. Yeah, but it doesn't look quite like Spyro. But anyway, yeah, cheers. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, please like, share, and um, yeah, comment. Yeah, cheers. It's all about the octopus guy. I don't know why he's got a half a body. Anyway, cheers. <laughs>